Hey Rose, we are the Code Man, bringing you another video review. We're not reviewing a show or something else, we're reviewing toys again. Yeah, our roots of our channel has come back to haunt me. And we're doing something I've been doing lately. I've been reviewing Power Ranger Beast Morphers. Now let's review the Dull Collector line from Power Ranger, now owned by Hasbro. Power Ranger Lightning Collection, uh, Epony Shadow Ranger, or Doggy Cougar. Well, he's in Power Ranger Death Speed, the 2005 Power Ranger season. Obviously, based on Deca Ranger, which is one of the better Sentais. But by the way, we will start this review by showing you the box. The box here is looks like this. It's front of it. This is the front. This is the side. This is the other side. And the back, which is up right now, which is the Blaine Phil. A good effect. By the way, now that Hat owns the rights, it's better than the Bandai. Bandai sucks only in America or any country that ain't Japan. Sorry, that was a joke. Now, let's start the video. Here we go. We start off with this figure right here. Shadow Ranger is one of my personal favorite Disney era characters, and this is our first and only Disney era character of the line for so far. He comes with this sword, his saber, which I forget the name. And this is an alternate effect part, which is one of the best things about Marvel Legends is they've been doing effect part for some characters with, like, energy effects, but they're recycling one of the the female villain from Venom, like that from Daredevil villain that was in the Venom wave with that effect part. I noticed good recycling. Recycle! Good! Now the figure. This figure is awesome, but due to I'm doing my camera, I gotta carefully protect my camera. Here it is, and the figure's here. Head moves up and down, waist moves side to side, and swivel with the yeah, like it in the armor. Arms good. Arms one joint. Waist swivel and thigh swivel. And legs bend, two double jointed bends, one knee, and let's check it as ankle pivot. Good. And pretty much the hips move, move, and the sword can be used as the sheep, as in with this character from Shatterender. And what? Well, and voila! See, look, this got the sheep. Put it in the sheep. Now put it back in. And also, by the way, let's check the loose pieces. He comes with the SPD morpher. For if you want to judge people, let's see right there. With his hand, it comes with. And he has additional hands, like his trademark pose hand and clothes fit that I accidentally dropped. And. Neck attachment for it to show you my favorite. This figure and most of the rangers in this lightning collection can do. Oh, drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. The head can be removed to form Doggy Kruger head, and there's a neck connect you should put in, but that's only like longevity. This is now the Doggy Kruger head, which is awesome, and it comes with a neck piece if you want to. Connected for safety props. This is a good ranger figure. And now for my personal favorite pose I want to do with this figure. It is the hold on dun, da, 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 da. finishing blow. Well, the finishing pose is this using its finishing attack while doing a speedy cat license. And his head, arm to teeth, good. I'm sorry about the camera, but really, it's not a big deal. I've been doing my phone lately for toy re reviewing, and this was kind of a rush thing, but sorry about that. And everyone, thank you for my first review of powering the Lightning Collection figure. Thank God now have own the rights, so I might buy these again. Who knows? Only time will tell. If you like this, like, comment, or subscribe if you want to know if you want me to do some. I might do roleplay next time for our next video. I hope that or 
SPD episode seven. Uh, Beach Morphers episode 7 and 8 because the finale, who knows? Only time will tell. This is Cody Rose or Decode Man. Decode Man saying bye bye.